हेलो 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 एंड अ वॉर्म वेलकम एंड अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू एग्जाम्पल गाइज सो अनदर सेशन ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स एट एट ए एम एवरी मॉर्निंग वी ब्रिंग यू करंट अफेयर्स और राइट सो एज यू ऑल नो दिस करंट अफेयर सीरीज इज फॉर सीजल एस्पिरेंट्स फॉर अवर सीरीज सीजल एस्पिरेंट्स सो गोइंग टू टेक दिस सीजल एग्जाम विच इज शेड्यूल टू बी हेल्ड एट इन द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ डिसम्बर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम डिसम्बर फर्स्ट और राइट सो फॉर दैम अ क्विक रिविजन ऑफ ऑल द करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ प्रीवियस मंथ ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट वंस और राइट ओके सो करंट अफेयर सेशन दैट इज मी मिलन एंड कंप्लीट रिविजन ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स ओके so uh, also with current affairs with current affairs we are doing revision of everything we are uh, <coughs> excuse me going with marathon sessions of you know history of polity of science of english reasoning math everything and uh, uh, geography as well i take geography as well apart from current affairs so geography is every wednesday and saturday 3 pm to 5 pm 2 hours uh, to uh, it's a two hour marathon class and all the important previous uh, geography questions are discussed in the class so we have uh, akileshwar joining in with us akileshwar very good morning brother a very warm welcome all right so uh, without any further ado just let's just uh, dive straight to the questions and do our questions okay so daily current affairs yes you all know that <coughs> okay yes motivational quote if you can dream it you can do it so um, just just uh, understand one thing there are scores of people there are lakhs of people who, who apply for cgl examination and um, a lot of ambitious hard working students are there and only the people only the people who get the highest marks who go the extra mile will be selected so uh, always always study hard uh, never shy away from hard work okay put in that extra mile put in that extra effort burn that midnight oil okay if you think uh, studying for 2 to 3 hours is enough no it's not enough. last minute preparation are very very crucial it's like it's like uh, indian innings indian batting innings we are in the last over remember against pakistan you know in the in the last during the last very final stages of the innings of the indian inning indian batting inning uh, we accelerated all right so that is how it should be done uh, nonetheless if the time has passed but still you have a week or so you know say eight days or so seven days or so so you can do a lot of questions similarly current affairs geography and previous year questions to burn the extra uh, go the extra mile burn the midnight hour okay study for 10 hours study, study for 12 hours study for 14 hours because you will get only this chance this is the chance only this chance is there for this year you'll get again another chance for next year but next year things might be different you know we had covid we had a lot of things so we cannot rely on future it's only the present okay so do the hard work okay so that is my advice to you so if you can dream it you can do it all right chalo let's see the next one let's, let's see the uh, first one so 1 2 3 let's go guys let's do the questions now all right <coughs> excuse me so number one question we have which country launched the innovation road map of the mission integrated bio refineries okay so integrated bio refineries so uh, bio refineries what they do they take up uh, the biomass and convert it into energy and convert it into energy so that is what um, uh, bio refineries do so we have us india bangladesh and ue uh, guys you have to uh, bear with me because uh, the comment sections are uh, the comments are generally not visible because we have it but we are trying to manage okay so uh, don't feel bad if i won't be able to reply to all the comments because the comments are not visible we have some problem but i i'll i'll get back to you i'll get back to you in between but uh, you know you have to be little you have to be little patient uh, on this one with me all right so what do you think akileshwar what is the correct answer and uh, what do you think would be the correct answer for a country which launched innovation road map you remember there is a there is this event going in pittsburgh usa clean energy all right we have discussed this question on clean energy so in on uh, in that event on the sidelines of it a country out of the four has said that they launch innovation road map for mission integrated bio refineries you know all the biomass shall be converted into important chemicals and energy okay so they'll be using the waste so akileshwar is saying b okay akileshwar is saying b india so akileshwar ah uh, you got it right brother you you got it right so option b is absolutely correct india is that country that has committed that <coughs> excuse me that a launch the innovation road map to mission integrated bio refineries it's like we are using the biomass and would convert that into useful energy and useful chemicals all right so another step towards uh, the betterment of humanity and fight against climate change okay so we we were doing everything wrong in terms of climate change but now we are you know on on a course correction okay so b is correct now let's see uh, question number 2 next is number question number 2 so question number 2 states 
which state has passed the goods and services tax goods and <coughs> excuse me services tax amendment bill to reform input credit tax to reform input credit tax which is that state that has passed this bill you know what what is the major what what is the major take away from this one uh, earlier it was a condition that a, a company a company in any of the states in a, in a, com a company if that company is fails that company fails to uh, you know deposit tax uh, um, in the first 6 months and when when it is asked in the first 6 months if it is unable to do, do that the license of the company was revoked the license of the company was revoked all right but in this amendment in this change the license won't be revoked and they'll be given some extra time to pay the tax okay so it's a very constructive step we do not want to finish the companies if a company is struggling funds wise then we'll give some time the government wants to give them give them some time and they'll obviously bounce back okay second chance are always welcome all right so we want a startup culture we want a business culture in the in the country okay so akileshwar is saying c Akileshwar C. Very nice. Akileshwar, you said uh, Karnataka because Karnataka IT state and might be like that way you went. So, uh, good guess, a very good guess. But <coughs> the answer to the question the state which has passed the goods and services tax GST amendment for the input credit tax, the correct answer is option B Rajasthan. Option B Rajasthan. So, Rajasthan is that state that will give. Uh, that won't revoke the license of a company if the company is unable to pay tax uh, when it is due and uh, uh, after the due date of six months. Okay, after due date of six months, generally the license was revoked. The license won't be revoked. Okay, so answer Rajasthan. I hope it is clear. Okay, so understand the question fully. What is the question asking? Where it is coming from? Okay, and what is the answer? All right, where it is coming from? What is the answer? And what is it asking? So three concept together. All the current affairs, current affairs are nothing but they, they are full of information. That's it. Information, information, info. There are different different talks. So you have this thing, you have that thing. It's like you're explaining a movie to someone. Okay, that happened, this happened, this happened, that happened. Okay, so somewhere in the world this happened, somewhere in the country this happened, that happened. So it's all is all different different talks. Okay. Okay. So let's see number three. I hope number two is clear to you. Let's see number three now. So number three is which union ministry launched the Swatch uh, Toycathon <coughs> program? Swatch Toycathon. Toycathon is uh, basically yes, you guessed it right. It is to do something with the toys. Okay, something to do with toys. So Swatch Toycathon. Now what Swatch? Swatch means cleanliness. So what cleanliness has to do with uh, toys? So it's a very interesting question. So we are joined with White Galaxy. Uh, White Galaxy Ram Ram Guruji, uh, uh, very good words for your love. Thank you so much for the respect and welcome and very warm welcome brother and good morning. All right. So, uh, which union ministry launched the Swatch Toycathon program? So, Swatch Toycathon program was launched by which of the following ministry? That is the question. So, I would request White Galaxy and Akhileshwar to take a guess. Okay. You have this question. You have four options and one option is absolutely correct. Okay, so you have 25% chance, one fourth chance that you will get it right. Okay, so what you have to do, just guess it. And if it is right, remember it. If it is wrong, I'll tell you the right answer. Remember that. Okay, but one thing, uh, make, make it for sure that always, always participate in the class. Never keep mum. Because when you participate, what you do, you make memories. You make memories. And in, 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 the, in the pressure situation, like uh, in an exam, memories are, are remembered okay the, uh, you can reproduce the correct answer from your memory okay that happened and this happened i gave the wrong answer i gave the right answer so that way it works so we have akileshwar akileshwar is saying option a so akileshwar your answer is absolutely absolutely correct so ministry of housing and urban affairs has launched a program search toycathon program in 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 this in this Okay, so we have uh, Sai Teja also joining. Sai, good morning, very good morning and a very warm welcome. Okay, so correct answer is option A. <coughs> Excuse me. And what this program will do? You know, uh, a lot of toys, a lot of toys, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of toys are wasted. I mean, when, when a kid gets a toy and when he or she grows up, okay, and then uh, the next sibling, if there is a sibling, that particular sibling plays with their toys and after a particular time, the, the, the kid grows up. Okay, so the, those, those toys are are thrown away by parents. Those, those toys are thrown away by parents. So there are a lot of toy waste. There are a lot of toy waste. So this such toycathon uh, was basically how those toys can be reused, re uh, you know, they can be recycled and can be made into new toys. Okay, so that to to ponder over that. 
Okay, so yes, so we have also joined uh, joined by Divya. Divya, very good morning, very very good morning, and very warm welcome. So we have just started. Only three questions done. I hope <coughs> this question is done. Uh, it's clear to you. So it's it's a very 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 easy thing to remember. You have toys. Okay, so if you see a question on toy cathon, remember toys are basically in the house. And it's a basic problem in the house of wastage of garbage if the kids grows out of a particular age. So housing, toys and house, toys and house. So it's a very simple thing just to join. You do not need any logic in current affairs. You do not need any particular logic. The only thing is the only thing you should be able to join things. You should be able to remember things. Toycathon, toys are in the house. You know they get a major wastage problem. They are thrown out. So how to be reuse? Housing ministry is the uh, is the uh, concern ministry. Okay, so try to connect things. Not every question can be connected, but some of them uh, can be connected. Okay, so connect them, uh, learn some, mug up some. Okay, so that is how it should be done. A combination of all all of these. Okay, next four. As per the recent study, as per a recent study, which species across the world collectively constitute about twelve million tons of dry carbon? <coughs> Excuse me. We are. Uh, we are uh, we are all living beings are made of hydrocarbons so we are made up of hydrocarbons and carbon is one uh, one very difficult thing to get away with because get rid of and carbon is something if the carbon content is in, uh, more in the world we have more pollution problem so which which of the following has the maximum around 12 million tons of dry carbon <coughs> so uh, sai what is the answer divya what is the answer uh, kilesh what is the correct answer White Galaxy, what is the correct answer? Okay, so we have some problem in the studio. Uh, uh, comments on all videos. I have to see on another screen for the comments. Okay, so you have to see. I have to see on another screen for the comments. I hope you bear with me. And in the process, in the process, I might miss some comments. I might miss or do not do not uh, feel bad about it. You can just repost if I miss your comment. Okay. And guys, you are, you have attended, you have come in the session, but I can't see your attendance. Okay, so the one way to mark your attendance is push the like button, press the like button. Okay, that is one way. That is a way to mark your attendance. So press the like button. Okay, and let me know you are uh, attended. You are attending the session. Okay, so uh, Sai is saying C. Sai is saying C. Akhilesh is saying C. Bees. Okay, guys. The correct answer to the question is dry carbon about 12 million tons. The correct answer is ants. Option B, ants. And just to tell you how humongous the ants are, you know, dry carbon, I mean the complete weight of ants, the complete weight of ants, one side, and weight of all the mammals plus all the um, animals, other animals plus all the uh, insects. Ants. Ants on one side, everyone else on other side. Okay, that is the that much that that is the way that is the weight they have. Okay, so weight of ants, all the ants in the world combined, it's much larger than all the other uh, living species combined. Okay, so that's a very uh, interesting fact and a mind-boggling and mind-blasting fact. Okay, so fourth one we have ants. So number five, <coughs> excuse me, number five we have. Which Indian public sector bank has inaugurated its ethical hacking lab safeguard the bank's information system? Okay. So, we all know that banking frauds are for real. There are a lot of banking frauds, phishing, okay, spam calls, everyone else, uh, all, all, all the other things <coughs> are um, very persistent in society. So, which of the following bank has dedicatedly inaugurated its ethical hacking lab? For the safety and security of not just the uh, shareholder, not just the account holders, but also of banks' data. You know, one thing is often said about 21st century. This one thing is often said about 21st century is that data is the new oil. Data is the new oil. So oil is called black gold, and uh, everyone, everyone else, every every country in the world wants oil. Every every country in the world wants energy security. So uh, oil was 20th century. Now data is 21st century. Data means information, uh, your pattern, what do you think, what do you like. You know, so uh, dedicated uh, products can be you know thrown at you. So data and banks. We all know that banks are full with data banks are really really full with data all right so to save their to safeguard them their data 
which of the following has launched yuko bank union bank indian bank or punjab national bank so i can see some answers in the comment aglesh has given b uh, sai teja has given given c but i'm not sure for which question is that is so previous question or this question because uh, there is a little uh, time lag okay 15 20 second of lag when i see the comments so uh, it is advised that if you can write five and then you can put in your d b whatever okay so if this this can be uh, number 5 or number 6 Okay, so whatever way, so question number and then the option. So that way it becomes a little easier for me to understand uh, that you are asking, uh, writing for this one. So uh, let's let's see the answer for this one. So the correct answer for this one is Union Bank. <coughs> Excuse me. The correct answer is Union Bank. So Union Bank is that that bank that has dedicated launch dedicatedly launched its its ethical hacking lab to safeguard the bank's information system. Okay, so that hackers couldn't get. A hold of their data. You know, uh, something happened two years back. Two years back, a very big and famous bank in Bangladesh, a very big and famous bank in Bangladesh was hacked. Was hacked by hackers and a large sum of money was demanded because their data was uh, encrypted. So, the, the data was hacked and encrypted and to release the data, ransom was asked and a big money, a big chunk of money, a big amount was asked. Okay, so a bank had to had to cough up, uh, bank the bank had to you know cough up that uh, amount because they want the data. They want the data. So that is the importance of data. Okay, so five is done. Uh, you can Google also about Bang Bangladesh Bank. It's a very famous story about that Bangladesh Bank. Okay, so number six. Number six, I think it's one of the probably easier one because uh, <coughs> Julian Go Goswami is a pretty uh, known uh, celebrity. So Julian Goswami, who announced her retirement recently plays which sports so she is associated with which of the following sports and uh, recently she announced her retirement so we saw akileshwar and divya writing 5b uh, option b for 5 you guys were correct so now yes so now we'll see akileshwar saying option 6 for 6 akileshwar is saying b okay and uh, sai is saying 6b divya what is your answer i would request divya and white galaxy and uh, others uh, to also answer so the Ju julian goswami is is yes of course she is with she is with cricket or she was with cricket um, proper playing cricket but she is from the uh, the uh, cricket cricket fraternity women's cricket a very big name and can you tell me whether she was a uh, wicket keeper whether she was a batsman a batswoman or whether she was a bowler what she was what was her role if you can tell me in the comments if anyone remember julian goswami uh, because this is one way to ask a question they can also say uh, a famous cricketer by the name Julian Goswami recently announced her retirement. What was the role of her in the team? She was she was a batswoman? What she was she was a wicketkeeper, a fielder, you know, or a spinner or faster, whatever. Okay. So which which is the so what was the answer? Yes. So Sai is writing bowler and Akira is saying bowler. Absolutely correct. She was a bowler. Absolutely correct. So six is done. Let's see the next one. Number seven. So we come to number seven, guys. Number seven is what is the theme of World Reverse Day 2022? <coughs> Excuse me. So what was the what was the theme of World Reverse Day 2022? So this year's World's River Day was uh, the, the theme was the theme the importance of rivers to biodiversity, importance of rivers sustainability, importance of rivers to universe, importance of rivers to climate change. <coughs> so what was the uh, theme of International Reverse Day? Uh, World Rivers Day. So Sai is writing, Sai is right, Sai is saying seven seven B sustainability. So, yes, all the options are pretty close. Biodiversity, sustainability. I mean, this this is a pretty you know wrong. I you know yeah. Reverse to universe uh, can't be true. But climate change, sustainability, divide, they are very close, very close uh, in uh, uh, very close, close options. Sai is also saying option B. Okay. So what is Akilesh was saying? Sai is saying option B, Divya is saying option B, Akhilesh is saying option A with a question mark. Alright, so Akhilesh is not sure, but she, he's taking guess. So guys, the correct answer is option A, the importance of rivers to biodiversity, to biodiversity. And you can remember, try to remember in a way, uh, see, uh, for biodiversity, what do you need? Biodiversity is was diversity of bio, diversity of bio, bio means life. So diversity of, bi, uh, diversity of life uh, is biodiversity, diversity of life is biodiversity so to propagate life or to develop life or to progress life what do you need you need water right for flora for fauna you need water and 
water is by rivers it's just a way to remember is just a way to remember there's no logic behind things okay current affairs you have to understand a lot of things so you have to remember a lot of things so this way you can put everything in bracket and small small breadcrumbs okay so whenever you see world rivers you like and this option will always be there in the in the option okay in the correct option in the all the options given to you so this one will always be there so when you will read by like biodiversity diversity of life we need water we world water day yes World Rivers Day, you will like you'll connect easily. So that is one way to remember things. Okay. Okay. Chalo. Let's see the next one. Number seven is done. Number eight. Number eight. So number eight is uh, Pulampara. Uh, India is the first digitally literate panchayat located. Okay, this question was already done in previous session. So it's just a revision question. Uh, just a revision question. This was already done. So let me see whether you are able to guess it or not. Okay, if you remember the question, because we have discussed this question earlier, it's a revision, revision question. So I would request, I would request uh, the uh, all my students to answer. Okay. So, Akhileshwar, Divya, Sai, White Galaxy. Okay, so if anyone, Akhileshwar thinks 6, uh, 8, 8, yeah, 8B, very nice, very nice, superb. Sai is, what was Sai saying? What Divya is saying? What are you guys are saying? And uh, if anyone is watching the session and hasn't uh, liked this session, uh, please like it. Mark your attendance. Yes, mark your attendance. Okay, like button is your attendance button. <laughs> okay, so yes, uh, Kerala is absolutely correct. So Kerala is the uh, Pullam, pa uh, uh, Pullam Para is that village panchayat, also the first digitally literate panchayat in India and Kerala is the state. So th this question can be asked in three ways. This question can be asked in three ways. What are the three ways? Three ways is name the village. Okay, the name the village first literate way or Pullampara in Kerala is first what? Digital literate and third one is Pullam, uh, the way it is asked, they can ask the state. This village, first digital literate village, which state? So three ways, okay. So uh, do not go for the question, always go for the information behind the question. What the question is asking, what is the basic information? This is done, number nine. Come on, let's see number nine. Gazeta Y Borka. Gazeta Vaiboza, which was awarded Golden Pen of Freedom Award, <coughs> excuse me, is a newspaper from which country? So, uh, in this piece of information, country is asked. In this piece of information, current country is asked. Uh, we have, um, okay, White Galaxy is writing something, I need to read it. My uh, selection is done. Achha, so white guys is saying he's been selected in Daroga. So many congratulations to brother. Uh, many congratulations to, to uh, congratulations to you, brother. And um, may you rise and shine in life. Okay. All the best. All the best, bro. Okay. So uh, Sai is saying 9A, Akhilesh was saying 9C. 9A and 9C. Okay, Ukraine and Russia. Superb guess. By the way, superb guess because you guys know that there's conflict going on. And newspapers always try to report something very true, very uh, very true to the fact. So for their freedom, they might be given. So very good logic, very good understanding of things. I must congratulate Sai and Akhilesh for very nice. So we went for the two options, uh, which are at war in the world. So very nice approach, but but the answer is not correct. But approach is correct. The answer is Poland. The answer is Poland. Okay. But nonetheless, nonetheless, great attempt. Okay. So Poland is correct. Now. This particular question <coughs> can be asked in, excuse me, can be asked in three ways. And the three ways are, first way, they are asking the country from where the uh, newspaper is. That is one way to ask. Second, they can give the country, they can give the name of the award and they can ask the name of the newspaper. What is the name of the newspaper? Or they can ask you, they can give you the name of the newspaper, the country it is from and they can ask you, which award? Golden Pen of Freedom Award. So always do not only see the question, see all the keywords. This is one keyword, this is keyword number two, this is keyword number three. Okay, so look at all the keywords, person, uh, organization, country or award. Look at all three because question can be asked either way. Okay, it can ask from anywhere. So three, actually this one question, this one question houses three questions. This one question comprises of three questions. Okay, three potential, two potential questions. One question given to you. Number 10. I hope it is clear to you. I hope, I hope how uh, you how you should approach current affairs. That is clear to you. Okay. So whenever you revise any current affairs, any one liner, one liner current affairs, so try to see the entire information. Okay. Okay. Number 10. Let's see number 10. 
which was the most visited centrally protected ticketed monument for visitors foreign visitors as per india tourism stats 2022 uh, in other words in simple words it means that which monument which ticketed monuments which requires ticket to visit which <coughs> ticketed monument was the uh, the was, was the uh, monument uh, which a lot of people came to see a lot of people came to see okay a lot of visitors so Akhilesh was saying 9C, okay, uh, Sai saying 10C, 10C, group of monuments at Mallapuram, okay, very, very good guess, Sai, very, very good, good guess, okay, and what is the next comment, uh, what is the latest comment, so, uh, okay, anyone else, what is the comment, latest comment, and uh, I can see, Akhilesh was saying 10C, Okay, Sai is saying, uh, saying 10C, Akhilesh was saying 10C. So, both of you, both of you, <coughs> excuse me, both of you are absolutely correct. Group of monuments at Mamalampuram is absolutely correct. They were, these monuments uh, saw the highest number of visitors visiting them. Alright, super. Okay, so uh, this is done. Uh, okay, next one, number 11. So, okay, so before number 11, before going to number 11, um, this is the schedule for the day, timetable for the day, Monday, 8 to 10 a.m., I am taking current affairs, then 1 to 2, Tosif sir would come, and uh, 2 to 3, Ankit sir, and then we have Shashank sir and uh, Sanjay and Devan sir, okay, so, and also we are starting with CH, CHSL foundation batches also, okay, and our dedicated CHSL batch would be launched Okay, I think uh, you, you already know about it because there was an event yesterday informing everything. So, I want you guys to, uh, if, if you are someone who is planning to give, the, uh, who is someone who is someone who is planning to take the exam of CHSL, I would request you to join the batch. Okay, join the batch. We would have sessions. We would also have practice prep questions every single day after every single session. Okay, and a lot of PYQs, previous year question, a lot of other questions and a lot of lot of interaction okay or uh, if you are if, if you know someone if you happen to know someone who who is willing to take the exam you can pass this message to that person okay but uh, if, I, if I would say if you want to crack any SST exam CHSL and CGL do not have much difference so if if hard if you know, if uh, um, un unfortunately, if you're not, if you don't score well in CGL exam, unfortunately, so you can always go for CHSL exam and you can clear the exam. If you want to join the service or not, uh, that is a later issue. Okay, you can decide later on. But clearing any exam would give you immense, immense confidence. And both the syllabus are same. So if you want to clear the exam, CHSL exam, we are going to help you out. Clear the exam. If you don't want to join, no worries. That level of preparation can be translated to or transferred to CGL exam. So next year you can take CGL exam, but preparation is the same. Okay, so you can join. So you don't have to wait for another year to uh, CGL to launch the notification, then batches to start. You can start with CHSL batches. CHSL batches and CGL batches, this syllabus is more or less the same. There's no much difference. The quality of questions is also same, you know. So syllabus is same. Okay, so you can go with that if you want to. And for CGL exam, you'll be in a better position to uh, tackle the exam. Okay, so number 11. Uh, name the institute that recently in September 22 signed an MOU, Memorandum of Understanding with Center for the Development of Telematics, CDOT, for cooperation in various emerging areas of telecom. Okay, so you have to tell me which, <coughs> excuse me, which institutions of higher education has, has uh, tied up with, has tied up with the government of India for uh, their, okay, so for their, very cooperation in various areas of emerging areas of telecom. So we have I either okay. So this please mention remember this we have I double IT. So it's IIT. Okay, it's IIT. And uh, all right. So emerging areas of telecom. What do we have? We have IoT. IoT is Internet of Things. Okay, Internet of Things is uh, everything uh, joined on the network. For example, we have smart TVs. We have smart uh, washing machines, we have smart refrigerators, okay, smart ACs, so everything, smart bulbs, 
So if everything is smart in your house, you can get everything connected on IoT on the same network and from your mobile or any device, you can operate the entire electrical appliances of your family. Okay, so IoT, Internet of Things, Cyber Security. Okay, Cyber Security, Big Data or Cloud Computing. So these are emerging areas of which of the following has tied up. So the answer to the question, we have answers. Akhilesh was saying four size uh, <coughs> and we have uh, uh, size saying D, size saying D, okay, okay, okay. Guys, the correct answer is IIT Delhi. The correct answer is IIT Delhi, but you have guessed it right. You have guessed it properly right, okay. Okay, so next one. Uh, sorry, Akhilesh, I missed your comment. Uh, your, your comment was domestic. Uh, in domestic, it is Taj Mahal. Okay, uh, Malapuram group of uh, uh, monuments is also domestic. Okay, it's also domestic. And uh, it's not Taj Mahal. Unfortunately, it's not Taj Mahal. It's the group of monuments at Malapuram. Taj Mahal, once upon a time, was, was a big, um, you know, it was a big attraction. But I don't know, because due to some time, uh, the the popularity is declining. Do you, if you if you, if, you, if you happen to go to Taj Mahal, you won't find a lot of people nowadays, you know, coming and visiting. But still, Taj Mahal Taj Mahal is still a center of attraction. Okay. So okay, next one, number twelve. Identify the Indian naval ships INS. <coughs> excuse me. That was in September twenty two in the capacity building exercise Operation Southern Readiness. So this is one keyword. One very important keyword with combined maritime forces CMF of in Seychelles. So this is also another keyword. So you have to tell me. So Seychelles is an island nation. Seychelles. Seychelles is an island nation in the Indian Ocean, uh, west of Asia, west of uh, India, west of India. So they have maritime forces called combined maritime forces, and Indian Navy also joined. Indian Navy also joined with them, and the operation was called Operation. Southern Readiness, Operation Southern Readiness and you have to tell me which of the following ships, Indian ships joined the exercise. Understood the question? Understood the question? They are asking the name of the ship which joined the exercise. Are you saying, okay, uh, Akhilesh was saying 12-4, 12-4, okay, Akhilesh was saying for 12, option 4, Aina Sunanya. Okay, that's a very solid guess. Uh, what about Sai? Sai, what is, what is the answer? Divya, what do you think is the correct answer? And... Um, Okay, so uh, Sai is saying correct. All right, guys. So uh, Akhileshwar is saying 12-4. Akhileshwar is saying 12-4. Akhileshwar, you are absolutely correct. It is indeed INS Sunanya. It is indeed INS Sunanya. Okay, so INS Sunanya is the ship, Indian naval ship that um, went to Seychelles. That went to Seychelles for combined maritime forces, CMF, in the operation called as Southern Readiness. Called Southern Readiness. All right. Chalo. We'll see the next one. 12 is done. Let's see number 13. Number 13. Okay, so uh, name the bank that recently <coughs> in September 22 launched Kushio Ka Tehar. Launched Kushio Ka Tehar, an annual festive campaign to offer interest rate. Interest rate. Interest rate. Uh, an annual festive campaign to offer interest rate on home loans and car loans. All right. So, <clears throat> Khushio Ka Tehar is a program or it's an event launched by which bank? Can you tell me the name of the bank? It is an annual program. It is an annual program wherein, wherein home uh, interest rates on home loans and very attractive interest, interest loans on home loans and car loans are offered. So, which bank does that? Okay, so you tell me which bank does that? So, um, we have some options coming in. So, uh, we have Sonam Kumari answering uh, so option c so uh, hello and welcome sonam hello and welcome very warm welcome and uh, good morning to you so sonam is saying c all right all right so bank of baroda is, is sonam's guess what about others okay so okay so i i see i can see uh, one akresh was saying 13 one pnb ha, pnb is a very solid bank very big bank so, uh, correct but uh, so we have Sanjeev, Sanjeev joining Sanjeev. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hello, Sanjeev. Uh, good morning. Very good morning, brother. And a very warm welcome. <coughs> the correct answer to question number 13 is Bank of Baroda. Is Bank of Baroda, B-O-B. -B. So Sonam, you are absolutely correct. 
पहली बॉल पे सिक्स यू ज्वाइन द चैट एंड वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आउट ऑफ द पार्क एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट सो थर्टीन वी हैव ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट सो खुशियों का त्यौहार बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा ओके सो Do not do not understand it like question. Understand it like uh, baatein. Okay, lot of talk. Okay, so it's your friend. One friend is telling another friend. Your friend is telling you. Do you know that there's a bank called Bank of Baroda which offers khushiyon ka tehar attractive loan loan rates. Then you should be like, "Acha." So it's like we are having a conversation. Try to remember it like talks. Okay, we are we are we are just talking in the morning. Okay, we are just having lot of interesting talks, very informative ones. Okay, so thirteen is done. Fourteen. Let's see number fourteen. बातें करना सबको अच्छा लगता है बातों बातों में सीख जाएंगे ठीक है वी ऑल लव टू टॉक वी ऑल लव टू टॉक एंड वी लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स नो वाइल्ड कॉन्वर्जिंग वाइल्ड कॉन्वर्जिंग सो विच बैंक रिसेंटली इन सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी टू सेप्टेम्बर ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू पार्टनर विद सैमसंग इंडिया टू लॉन्च को ब्रांडेड क्रेडिट कार्ड ओके सो दे आर आस्किंग विच विच बैंक ऑफ इंडिया विच बैंक ऑफ इंडिया हैज Collaborated with, has collaborated with which, which of the following banks, which uh, which uh, Samsung India has collaborated with which of the following bank to issue credit cards. Now you know what these credit cards are for. These credit cards are for people like you and I who love to spend on the apps. For example, uh, what app? Shopping app, Myntra, Zomato, eating app, Swiggy. Okay, uh, anything uh, that is uh, you know instant delivery type kind. so people uh, people spend lot of money on shopping apps amazon mantra ajio okay <coughs> excuse me and similar lot on uh, food app so <coughs> excuse me for them for the credit card is marked for them okay so sanjeev is saying axis bank okay so sonam is saying a okay so correct answer is option 2 axis bank correct answer is 2 uh, option 2 axis bank So fourteen one. So Akhilesh was saying one, but answer is two. So now you know it is between Axis Bank. It is between Axis Bank. Okay. And also, I am writing these things specially on the on the board because because these you know you might you might remember them them as it is in the exam. If a question comes, Samsung, you like Samsung was with which bank? Which bank? But if you focus hard, you will see this image. You will see this image. So that is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to manifest. I'm trying to put it in your brain, okay, in your head. If you're sitting in my class, if you're watching my session, things should be imparted to you. Should get into your conscious mind and should also get into your subconscious mind. All right. So I'm trying to impart that. All right. Samsung India, Axis Bank. All right. Chalo. Let's see the next one. Number fourteen is done. Number fifteen. Number fifteen. In September, <coughs> excuse me. In September of two zero two two. The Asian Development Bank (ADB) revised the growth forecast for developing Asia and Pacific from 5.2 percent to what percentage? To uh, what percentage? So they are asking. Uh, there is a bank called ADB, Asian Development Bank, very, very, very big bank, Japan-based bank, very, very big bank. Okay. Sonam is saying, okay, understood, sir. Very nice, Sonam. Okay. So uh, very big bank. And they and they always banks they uh, make a forecast about certain region certain country okay so a forecast was made about uh, in Asia and Pacific Asia and uh, Asia Pacific uh, from 5.2 percent that that Asia Pacific Asia and the Pacific region would grow at a rate of 5.2 percent but they have revised it they have revised it and as you can see from the option they have lowered the expectation they'll say no no earlier it was 5.2 but it was 4. Point something because of COVID. Because of COVID, because of Russia-Ukraine war, because of lot of things, recession. Okay, so lot of things is coming up. So they have revised it. So uh, Akhilesh was saying fifteen two. Akhilesh was saying option four point six. Okay, and we have Sanjeev. Sanjeev is saying two. Okay. So uh, guys, uh, if you are new to the session, I would request. I would request. Uh, yeah, Philippines Bank. I'm, I'm really sorry. It was ADB is Philippines Bank, bank. Not not Japan based bank. It's a uh, Philippines based bank. We have another bank in Japan, right? Okay. Philippines, yes. Manila is the is the is the headquarter. Correct. Philippines, Manila. Okay. Okay. So, uh, guys, I want to tell I want to tell you two things. One, if you join the session, if you are new to the session, kindly hit the like button. 
kindly kindly mark your attendance like like the like button is your attend mark, marking attendance is your attendance button so mark the attendance like the button okay like like that like, like the session uh, share it share it with your friends share in whatsapp group share in social media share it and also subscribe to, to, to the uh, channel and one important thing also there is a telegram channel there we have a telegram channel and uh, and the telegram channel of ssc example ssc exam by example in english medium we have a telegram channel and join the telegram channel because uh, we put uh, our after session pdf all the pdfs of every session uh, will be available to you there also we put some questions also we will we will put some previous previous questions and everything a lot of interactive interactions will go on in that group so join the channel join the group telegram group and uh, the link to it is given in the current affairs session of yesterday if you'll go in the comment section of current affairs section session of yesterday and day before yesterday i have put the link i have put the telegram link there you can easily find it there also and uh, one more thing one last thing to you guys uh, guys uh, when you are writing the answer na when you giving the answer i can see someone pressing the like button thank you guys thank you thank you it was uh, a different number earlier now it's a different number it has increased so thank you so much and uh, also one more thing when you write the answer na when you write the answer try to mention question number and then option okay question number because uh, generally what i see i see your comments a little uh, late 15 20 seconds delay is there so you know sometimes we might jump the question next to next question and i get into confusion like whether the answer is to a previous question or this question so i would request you to write the question number just write the question number like 15 and whatever you see a b c d 1 2 3 4 whatever i'll get it 15 next number is your option okay so we have 2 2 2 2 2 so everyone is saying 2 So correct option is two. Akileshwar and Sonam and Divya and everyone is correct. Okay, all right. So four point six. So Asia Pacific, Asia Pacific region will grow at a rate of four point six percent as according to ADP. According to ADP. Okay. So next fifteen is done. Sixteen. We'll see sixteenth one. Sixteen. Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. Was recently in September 22 named the prime minister of which country? I have, <coughs> excuse me. If you if you follow if you follow the news, a uh, little bit of it. This is a very famous personality, very famous international personality, and uh, I would consider this question as one of the easiest ones. Okay. Okay. Superb, superb. So uh, yes, yeah, Sonam, what is the answer? What do you think is the answer? Divya, what is the answer? Sanjeev. Uh, So Jib is saying twenty two. I'm not sure what twenty two means here. Okay, what twenty two means here? Okay. Um, Akilesh was saying sixteen two, sixteen two. Okay, superb, superb. So Akilesh was marked his answer as twenty sixteen two. All right. So uh, Sonam is saying sixteen B. So sixteen and B. That is again. So Akilesh was and Sonam saying the same answer. Uh, he's saying number eleven. Sanjib saying number eleven. Ah. Uh, I think it's just saying trying. You are trying to say one. Okay, super. Okay, Sanjeev saying Saudi, Saudi Arabia. All right. So Sanjeev's answer is A. So guys, um, uh, <coughs> Sonam. Uh, okay, Sonam gives the answer. Divya and um, and Sai. What are your answers? What are your answers? So the correct answer to the question is Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud is the crown prince. Is the crown prince of and now the PM of option A, Saudi Arabia. You would have guessed. Al Saud, Saudi. You could have guessed. Okay, might not be true. Might be true, but like the it is actually true. But if you didn't know it, you could have guessed. You could have gone by it. Okay? Al Saud, Saudi. Maybe the correct answer. Yeah, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is ruled by House of Saud. Ruled by House of Saud. So they are crown prince. They are royal people. You know, they own everything in um, this thing. Yeah, they they have the influence in Saudi Arabia, and just to tell you guys, just to tell you, Saudi Arabia, Saudi one Saudi Arabia is the center of the Islamic world because of we have Mecca and Medina in Saudi Arabia, so it's kind of center of the Islamic world, and also uh, the leader of the Muslim Ummah, okay, the Muslim world, and also also Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, we all know that is a very very rich country because of the oil they have they have oil money guys they have oil money so saudi arabia is one of the richest country and do not and we all say we all say you know jeff bezos is the richest person or uh, carlos slim is the richest person or bill gates is the richest person or now elon musk but but um, those people are individuals but actually <coughs> a lot of people say that the house of saud 
the Saudi Arabian people or the uh, Arab sheikhs or the oil money which they have, they are probably the richest in the world. They are probably the richest. They, their uh, money or their wealth is not, you know, is not publicly known, but they are said to be the richest people in the world. Also, yes, OPEC leader, yes, Sanjeev, uh, OPEC leader, um, <coughs> organization of petroleum exporting countries, it's a chair that revolves around, okay, it's a chair that revolves. So, <coughs> OPEC is one of the most, uh, pow is one of the most powerful organizations, okay, okay. How people say yes. Mohammed bin Salman is also known as MBS, popularly MBS US by US people. Okay. Okay. Chalo. Done. Enough information. Inform enough information on this one. Okay. <coughs> okay. Next one. Next one. Okay. Achha, before we go to the next one, there is an in there is an interesting question that is coming to my mind. Okay. Uh, if you if you uh, if you want, I'll ask you that question. Okay. If you want, I ask you that question. Okay. It's a very interesting question. Uh, the question, the question, if you want me to ask you the question, I uh, just, just, okay, yeah, sir. Okay. So, Sonam is saying, yes, sir, kindly ask you. Okay. Can you tell me, can you tell me who is the, or who was the richest person in the, in the history of mankind? In the history of mankind, which person is considered to be the richest? I'm not talking about present history. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about now, like 200 years, 300 years. I'm talking about the richest person entirely of the human known known okay known is in the in the known history who is the richest person ever richest human ever on this planet earth okay it's a very interesting question very interesting question one person is considered to be the richest of all we all know rich rich people richer people but richer richest person once in osman no 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 akleshwar osman ali nizam was not the richest. Even Queen Elizabeth was richer, were, was, was much richer than her, him. Okay. Uh, Queen Elizabeth at the time was much richer. Which person is considered to be the most richer ever? Ever means ever. That person is the richest human, richest human on earth ever. So, I want you to answer that question. Uh, not now. We'll Google it. You'll get the answer. Google it. Uh, billion dollar, 400 billion. Akhilesh, I'm not talking about billions. I'm talking about trillions with a T. With a T tango, okay? Billions is nothing. I'm talking about the richest person ever. Okay. Come on, guys. I move on the next question. You find the answer on Google and let me know in the comment section. Okay. This, this is side work for you. But very interesting thing. Okay. Such small, small interesting things uh, should be asked in the class. I think, you know, it always enrich your horizons, your knowledge horizons. Okay. Next one, number 17. Let's see number 17. So, number 17 is in September 2022, which ministry, uh, which ministry, uh, launched the Jaldut app, Jaldut app and Jaldut app e brochure for monitoring of groundwater tables, for monitoring of groundwater tables across India. Okay. So now they are asking which of the following developed the app. Okay. With the following developed the app. So that is my question to you. Now this question also has one more thing uh, that Jaldut app is for what question mark it is for monitoring of groundwater jal dud app is for monitoring of the groundwater tables in india so that is one very important question can be made or they can ask you for monitoring groundwater tables in india which of the following application was launched the answer would be jal dud app okay okay akhilesh was saying 17 4 both 1 and 2 uh, Sanjeev saying option C, Sanjeev saying Ministry of Jal Shakti. Jal Shakti, okay, very good guess, very good guess. Okay, let's see whether you are correct or not. Okay, cool is saying Jal Shakti. Okay, Sanjeev saying Jal Shakti. So, we have cool with a lot of O's. Okay, cool. Okay, so welcome Mr. Cool and uh, very warm welcome and good morning brother. So, okay, so Jal Dut app and Ministry of Jal Shakti, you have joined the two. Whether, let, let us see whether it is the joining is correct or not. Um, okay. So, Sonam is saying 17B. Okay, guys. <coughs> guys, the correct answer to the question, the app, the, uh, the, applic the, the uh, ministry which developed the app is option 1 and option 2 which makes option 4 correct. So, they are asking which ministry developed the app. So, 1 and 4, 1 and 2 are absolutely correct. So, that makes option 4. 4 as correct. Okay. Such surprises. So, what happened here? Uh, you saw Jal and you mark Ministry of Jal Shakti. That is why revision is important. You know, you will lose important crucial marks in the examination. In the examination, 
every single question is very important. Every if you leave the question, you won't get marks. Someone else will get marks. If you correct it, you'll get extra marks. Okay. If you get, get it wrong, you'll you know you will reduce your uh, total tally. So every single question is very important, and such questions are very important because they make you realize, okay, I cannot take it everything very easily. I have to study also. All right. But nonetheless, very good guess, guys. Um, then we have uh, MP Singh answering too. Okay. So welcome, welcome. Uh, Sonam Singh B. So now uh, 17 is done. 17 is done, guys. Let's do number 18. Number 18. So before we go to number 18, before we go to number 18, I want to introduce something to you. The <clears throat> okay. SSC GD Constable 2022 Mission Worthy Batch. So for SSC CGL, uh, sorry, SSC GD Constable, we have launched. We have launched Mission Worthy Batch. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. Uh, this batch is very, very useful, very, very crucial because you are you would be getting a lot of things. What are the things? Live classes, okay? Live classes in the batch. Then class PDF. So whatever the faculty writes on the board, whatever ink annotations that are in the PDF, all the everything, all the correct answer with the questions and all the notes are provided to you. Test series. What, in, what more important than say test series? Everything learned once, you have test series, okay? So test series provided to you. Practice quiz. We all know that reading or learning is not sufficient or not enough. You have to practice also. You have to practice what you have learned. You will also learn something new and you will miss, you will, you will do some mistakes. You have to rectify your mistakes and then you have to progress, move forward. So practice questions are provided to you. Daily current affairs magazine would be given to you. So that would that would be given to you. And uh, uh, sorry, current affairs magazine, not daily current, but current affairs magazine will be given to you. So uh, entire weeks, uh, entire months current affairs will be in compiled in one magazine. So that is very useful for you. You just have to give a quick, quick, you know, revision every single time. So that is there. Then daily practice paper or DPP, daily practice paper or DPP every single day after the class. Geography class is done. I taught about, let's just say, Himalayas, the questions will come for Himalayas. Uh, someone else taught about uh, blood relations and reasoning, you know, you'll have questions on blood relation after the session. So learn it, read it, understand it, then do the question in the class, okay, after the class. So DPP would be given to you. And also, one important factor of solving the papers is, one important factor of, uh, important uh, factor in solving the paper would uh, doubt solving okay if your doubts are not solved you know if you're learning 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 obviously you're practicing papers you're writing answers some questions will be there you want some topics would be there you would uh, get stuck on that so doubt doubt solving would help you move forward so all these things when they come together you clear your your objective you clear your exam you get your objective you clear exam so these are some amazing features that will be given to you in mission worthy batch okay and what what more you can ask for 2750 was the earlier price now it is not even 1000 less than 1000 not even 900 it's 799 799 that's not even 800 also so it's it's 7899 okay so in 799 you are getting so many features you are getting doubt solving you are getting daily practice dpp current affairs practice tests classes even so it is not confined to only class but everything else combined with it and not just for one month for the entire batch so what more can be asked for what more so 799 and just you have to use the code gd799 gd799 is the code that you can use if you are someone who are willing to do the gd take the gd exam this is it or if you happen to know someone who is willing to do that you know this is the uh, you can you can make this available to that person okay or you can know the let, let the uh, or you can let the person know about it. Okay, so SSC GD Constable 2022 free app course. So on the app, if you go on the app, it's a free course on the app. <clears throat> what you will get on the app? 2.5 hours of daily live class, 10 mock tests with live discussion, daily current affairs classes, current affairs magazine, daily class PDF, 10 previous year pattern based on latest pattern. Uh, paper or based on latest pattern, previous year paper, PDF is solution, daily YouTube class PDF. On the app, we are talking about on the app and that too free. Okay, so this part is pretty free and you'll get all this in the free one and 2000 plus 500 questions on current affairs. So this is the free one. Okay, you'll get a lot of these things. Okay, and uh, yes, very, very important thing, very, very important thing. If lot of stuff on the app on the example app is free, lot of the stuff on the example app is free. Uh, download the example app from your Play Store and explore. Lot of questions, lot of quiz, lot of current affairs, you know, previous paper. So, um, how to download the app? Step one, 
we all know that you have to go on the play store you have to install you have to click on the install button then example app would uh, open up you have to register put your name and all the details you have to register yourself that i am a bona fide student and these are my details okay and then uh, this is a section called as free course so if you see on the app if you see on the app there is a section called as free course just click on it and just press the view detail button and everything else would be a smooth sailing from there on okay clear i hope it is clear and i hope everything is you know what i was trying to impart i think everything uh, went across all right so i hope you'll uh, uh, download the app so download the app and explore a lot of things okay so we are not confined only to gd batches but also a lot of new batches would come up okay if you're someone who is who is not into uh, ssc gd then download the app explore the app ssc cgl batch would become the next time C chsl batch is coming or some other batches would come okay so that would help you to uh, get a better grip on the app okay so everything is done now let's see the next question so let's see question number 18 now let's see question number 18 now uh, what is the theme of world rabies day uh, 2022 that was observed across the globe on 28 september 2022 so first and foremost first and foremost before we jump to the option before we jump to the option world rabies day 28 september 22 world rabies day 28th September. So when is the World Rabies, World Rabies Day? 28th September. So that is the way you connect. Okay. 28th September, World Rabies Day. Clear? All right. So now the theme is asked. Theme is asked for this year. Uh, we all know that uh, the dog bite problem is a major problem in India. Dog bite problem is a major problem in India. So okay. So uh, the options are in front of you. Okay. Okay, so uh, Akhilesh was saying 18 ka for 18 for okay, guys. Okay, okay, so um, Globe 28 September for uh, is the was the theme was the theme uh, rabies share the message save a life was the theme uh, rabies vaccinate or eliminate. Or was it end uh, rabies, collaborate and vaccinate? Or it, was it a rabies, one health, zero death? So rabies uh, is spread by dog bites, okay? It's spread by dog bites and very, very uh, deadly and very dangerous, okay? Uh, dogs are very cute, but sometimes they are not very cute. Sometimes, sometimes they are very, very, you know, uh, very, very dangerous. They can come across as very, very dangerous. Okay. okay. So Sanjeev is saying, uh, recently Guru Gram has... Yes, so yes, Sanjeev is correct. Recently, Gurugram MCD has um, banned certain dog breeds. And also in Noida, in Noida, uh, we have this uh, thing where in Noida, if a dog bites another person, okay, then the dog owner will, will, will cough up, has to cough up 10,000 rupees, okay. So there are some certain guide, guidelines coming up because dog bites are a major, major problem. If you'll see news, now if you'll see news, you'll see dog bites cases from Maharashtra, from Punjab, from Kerala, from Assam, from Andhra Pradesh, from every nook and the corner of the country, we have dog bite cases. So we have a lot of stray dogs, also pet dogs. So it becomes really difficult sometimes, okay. So we have, we have to live in a harmonious uh, society and uh, situation where everyone is allowed, everyone is included, but there has to be some guidance guidelines or rules set for everyone okay okay and just to tell you just to tell you in certain countries in certain countries certain dog breeds are not allowed certain countries for example pitbull or uh, rottweiler are very very dangerous in some countries they are not allowed okay uh, in us in some states the certain breeds are not allowed okay because they become very dangerous okay so sonam has given the answer and uh, we have mp singh giving the answer and uh, Divya giving the answer, Akhilesh giving the answer, all are saying 18-4. So you guys are absolutely correct. Rabies, one health, zero death. Yes, one health, zero death is the correct one. Okay, guys. So everyone is correct. So we have 18-4 is correct. All right. Let's see the next one. Let's go with the next one. 18-4 is done. So also remember not just the theme, but also the date on which it is celebrated. Okay. So two, uh, a lot of information here. Okay. So, uh, have you found out the uh, answer to the question that was asked to you? The richest man ever. The richest man ever on the planet Earth. So, uh, I'll tell you the right answer. I'll uh, the richest man ever to walk on the face of Earth, known, okay? <coughs> the man who's considered, okay, by, by a lot of people, by everyone, is... Bill 
Mansa Musa of Mali. Mali is a, is a present day country in uh, Africa. Okay, so he was a king of Mali. He was a Masa, Mansa Musa, he was a king of uh, Mali. And uh, he is considered to be the richest person ever in the world. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, so Sonam, Sonam is saying dogs are very dangerous. Yeah, dogs are cute, but sometimes they're not that cute. But, you know, it depends. Yeah, but they are also, at times, they are very dangerous. Correct? Uh, they are they bite and, you know, they, they, uh, there's, a, there's, there's a lot of problems uh, when it comes to... And in India, we need to set out some guidelines for dog bites as well, for the keeping of do dogs. Okay, yes, pit bull, yeah, very, very dangerous. Okay, some breeds are very dangerous. Okay. Okay, so 19, okay, 19 question. So this was the answer to the uh, question, richest person ever, okay? Okay, in which state the tech eagle, so it's a company or more like, or more uh, properly, it's a, it's a startup. So tech eagle is a startup, which is, which is into drone delivery, which is into delivery by drones, okay? So we all know that delivery is very important, medicine, de delivery of medicine, delivery of food, delivery of things like that, okay, everything. So, <coughs> excuse me. Delivery which requires quicker, which needs to be in quick in the, in the in the least possible time. A drone delivery startup carried out the world's first vaccine delivery for animal husbandry in November 2022. So you tell me which is the which is the state in which vaccines were given for animal husbandry for welfare of an animal and. Um, Yes, Sonam is saying, Acha, so we have answer. Akhilesh was saying 19-1, Divya is saying 19-1. So both of you are saying Gujarat. All right, then we have Sonam saying uh, Mansa Musa, okay, African ruler, correct, Arnash. Sanjeev is saying Arnanchal, okay, and we have MP saying 19-3, okay, Arnachal Pradesh, very nice. And then we have Sonam. Yes, Sonam, you are right, you are absolutely correct. So the answer, guys, the answer is Tech Eagle, a drone delivery. First vaccine delivery for animal husbandry is the correct answer, Arunachal Pradesh. The correct answer is Arunachal Pradesh. So Arunachal Pradesh became the first state in India to, have, to get medicine delivered for animal husbandry. Just to tell you, it is not the first state in India for any sort of delivery by drones. No. Medicine and that for animal husbandry. Okay. In that way, Arunachal Pradesh is the first one. Generally, we have already uh, states, we have this delivery fashion, this drone delivery fashion already been, uh, uh, you know, uh, done, okay? And uh, we already seen that. All right, that is the next one. I'll take a small water break here. I'll leave you with the question, okay? Read the question, read the answer, and uh, try to tell me the correct answer. Okay. Sonam is saying, see the comments, sir. Uh, Sonam, yes, I'm watching all the comments because uh, there is some problem with the comments. Um, but I'm watching all, all of them. So I might miss a few here and there, but please bear with me. And uh, if you have not reading your comment, you can just repost it, okay? So Sonam wrote 19C. Sonam, you were correct. Yes, Sonam was also correct. And I think everyone got 19. Uh, Sonam wrote 19C. Achha. Achha. Okay. So Arunachal Pradesh was correct. Yes. So more or less everyone was correct. But uh, the best part is, see, we are, we are done with 19 questions. So and I hope, Every single question is crystal clear to you. This question, if it appears in your paper, in your exam, in your shift, okay, then you'll be like, Acha, we did that there. This is the correct answer. We did that there. This is the correct answer. Okay. So it's a win-win situation. Always participate in the class, no matter whether it is right or wrong. Always, always look at the correct answer. Always see the put your entire focus on the correct answer. When correct answer is revealed to you, you should be like, okay, this is the answer. Got it. I'll I will not forget it. Okay. Chinmoy Das, so Chinmoy Das has joined you. Chinmoy, very warm welcome and a very good morning, brother. Okay. So mostly, mostly my students, they come around 9 p.m. So 9 p.m. I think uh, is a better time to start current affairs. Is it? Let, let me know in the comment section if you feel 9, 9 p.m. 9 a.m. is the correct, 9 to 10 would be a correct time to uh, launch the session. Okay. Let me see, let me see the, uh, the uh, you know. Reception. Okay, so coming to the question, who recently, who recently in September 22 won the Change Maker Award at the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal UNSDG Action Awards? Okay, so UN Sustainable Development Goals UNSDG Action Awards are uh, presented or uh, were presented. So which of the following won Change Maker Award? 
चेंज में दीपिका नारायण वृंदा ग्रोवर संगपली अरुणा और सृष्टि बक्शी so what you guys are writing the answers what comments you are writing so <coughs> just a moment guys uh, i am watching the comments okay so in the meantime you just uh, write your answers so what are the uh, what are the different comments you are writing so what do you think would be the correct answer so mb singh saying four then we have akilesh was saying four shristi bakshi then we have uh, okay what about chinmoy chinmoy what is the answer sonam what is the answer then we have sai and divya teja what are the answers and uh, okay so akilesh was saying yes sir nine would be a good time for breakfast i am not talking about breakfast brother i am talking about session okay nine uh, for breakfast so akilesh was seems to be little hungry now okay Yeah, understandable. It's morning, and yeah. So, okay. Chin boy saying D. So guys, ah, uh, you guys are absolutely correct. Every single one of you, Akilesh, and everything. Chin boy, everyone is correct. Ah, uh, change maker award, Shristi Bakshi. And she, who is she? She is ah uh, women's rights, women rights activist, women's women's right activist. Okay, and she did did this march on foot from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. She travelled on foot from Kanyakumari to Kashmir and raising awareness about uh, women. The kind of yeah, some uh, there are some difficult situations for women. Okay, some domestic violence uh, cases, some very terrible cases, terrible situation. But uh, so to raise uh, her voice and to make others understand about the grave and very you know difficult situation some of the women are living in. Yes. Okay, so. Twenty, we have option four. So we'll go to the next one. Twenty-one. We'll see twenty-one now. So yeah, twenty-one. Ah, uh, name the personality who was recently appointed as India's second chief of defence staff, CDS. So first CDS, first CDS was ah uh, General Bipin Rawat. So he was the first CDS. And ah uh, uh, in December two zero one nine, I believe, uh, unfortunate incident happened. And he passed away uh, in a helicopter crash. Okay, so first CDS, Bipin Rawat, General Bipin Rawat. So he was the first CDS. Now, the the post of the position of CDS was vacant for some time. Now it has been filled up by who of the following? Lieutenant General Anil Chauhan. So Lieutenant General Anil Chauhan or Lieutenant General Rana Pratap Kalita. Uh, Lieutenant General Jay Singh Nain or uh, Lieutenant General Yogendra Dimri. So, what do you think is the correct answer? So, we have Akhilesh was saying. Uh, Akhilesh was uh, saying she is an entrepreneur, sir. Yes, Shristi Bakshi, uh, entrepreneur also, women's rights activist also. Yes, correct. Then we have uh, Akhilesh was saying twenty one B, Sanjeev saying one. So, Akhilesh saying twenty one A. Sorry, one. Yeah. Uh, Sanjeev saying one. Anil Chauhan, okay. Sonam saying Anil Chauhan, very nice. Chinmoy saying A, very nice. Uh, he has now become general, sir. Yes. Yes, four star. Uh, Sanjeev is correct. A uh, general now. He is retired, by the way. Okay. Uh, Sanjeev is retired, by the way. So he is a four star general. Yes. So it make it a general. General Anil, Anil uh, Chauhan. Then we have uh, Gyan Madhvi. Gyanu Madhvi. So English come banti hai sir. Ab kya karein? Ab kya bol rahe hain sir? English samajh nahi. Acha acha acha. Um, Madhvi. Uh, Gyanu Madhvi. This channel. Ye channel Madhvi English ke liye hai. एस एस सी प्रिपरेशन इंग्लिश मीडियम का ये चैनल है तो इस चैनल पे जितना भी कॉन्टेंट आप देखेंगे ये भी इंग्लिश में है और जो मैं बोलूंगा या बाकी टीचर भी आके बोलेंगे वो सब इंग्लिश में होगा आप चैनल का नाम देखेंगे उसमें लिखा हुआ है ब्रैकेट में इंग्लिश मीडियम तो जो बच्चे इंग्लिश में कंफर्टेबल है ये सिर्फ उनके लिए हमारे पास हिंदी का चैनल भी है सो वी ऑल्सो हैव ए चैनल इन हिंदी हिंदी का चैनल भी है आप उसमें जाके भी करंट अफेयर दे सकते हैं पर अगर आप समन जो इंग्लिश में कंफर्टेबल है तो ये उनके लिए ठीक है बट थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग आप आए और थोड़ा कोशिश करेंगे तो आपको समझ में आ जाएगा ठीक है बिकॉज हम बहुत अच्छा कंटेंट यहाँ पे डिस्कस करते हैं ओके सो सोनम ओके सो दिस दिस अगेन आई एम टेलिंग दिस दिस यूट्यूब चैनल एवरीथिंग इज फॉर समवन हु इज वेरी कंफर्टेबल इन इंग्लिश एंड वांट्स इंग्लिश कंटेंट सो दिस इज प्राइमरली फॉर दैट ओके गाइज कमिंग टू द क्वेश्चन बैक टू द क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी वन वी हैव जनरल अनिल चौहान सो सेकेंड सी डी एस ऑफ द कंट्री चीफ ऑफ डिफेंस स्टाफ सी डी एस नाउ आई वॉन्ट टेल यू लिटिल स्टोरी बिहाइंड इट वी हैव एडमिरल फॉर आर्मी फॉर सॉरी फॉर नेवी इंडियन नेवी वी एडमिरल ओके वी हैव एयर चीफ मार्शल फॉर एयरफोर्स वी हैव 
जनरल फॉर इंडियन आर्मी दो आर टॉप मोस्ट ऑफिसर्स करेक्ट ऑल द सिस्टर सर्विसेस ऑल द थ्री सर्विसेस नाउ Why do we need CDS? Why do we need a combine a a, a CDS or a, a chief of defense staff? You know what happened? What is the story behind it? There is there is a small story behind it. Okay, so um, sir, can your name please? Acha, uh, Chinmoy, my name is given in the actually in the uh, in the session. Okay, but my name you can see is this is my name. Okay, my name is Milan. Okay, my name is Milan. Okay. ओके ओके अच्छा ओके तो प्रीति जी आपका स्वागत है वैसे ठीक है अगर रुकना चाहें तो अच्छा लगेगा रुकेंगे आप और थोड़ा सीख सीख लेंगे यहाँ पे ठीक है बट गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम प्रीति ओके सो सी अब ये सी की पोजीशन व्हाई डू वी हैव द पोजीशन ऑफ सी इन इन इंडिया बिकॉज ये संजीव इज करेक्ट इंटरग्रेटेड कमांड्स दैट मीन्स यू नो वाई वाई दिस नीड वॉज फेल्ट वाई दिस नीड वॉज फेल्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस गाइज Because of this, because of 1999 Kargil War. What happened in Kargil War? Uh, Indian there was there was Mujahideens. There were Pakistan regulars at the cliffs, at the at the peaks of the uh, of the of the you know uh, Kargil sector in Kashmir. Okay, so uh, Indian Army launched Operation Vijay, and uh, Indian Air Force launched a, a, a operation called Safed Sagar. Okay, so there was this problem on of sinking between the army, the navy, the air force. It was not a smooth joint command. Army was doing something else, and some quarters air force were doing something else. There was coordination problem. There was this coordination problem because there was no one person in charge. There was not one person. So it took a lot of time for us to you know understand situation and take corrective and preventive measures in that situation to overcome a particular ob objective. so a, a position was felt that we need a one person who is head of all the three services navy air force army you know all the three services one person should be the head and a a team was set up and a you know committee was set up and it gave reports and it took some time unfortunately you know 20 19 20 years it took so but nonetheless there i durust hai better late than never okay better late than never so this was the story because of kargil war we felt the need of cds that is why we have a cds now okay okay so sona me saying my father also joined kargil from jat unit yes jat balwan all right so yes jat 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 regiment we have a very solid regiment and very very powerful regiment of the indian army okay so all the regiments of the indian army are extremely exceptionally well exceptionally good so uh, it's all because of the army brothers that we uh, we live a very you know lead a very secure life all the defense personnel so all major salute to them so 21 is done 22 okay 22 uh next question name the union minister name the union minister who has recently in november 22 co-chaired the virtual globe global skill summit the virtual global skill summit vgss along with union minister dharmendra pratap okay so you have to and you have to tell me the person co-chaired virtual global skill summit virtual global global skill summit and this summit was for this summit was for the people from india who go to foreign countries and uh, they should be skilled enough okay if you are going to a foreign country you should know some kind of skill okay some kind of skill so that you can take up any job there okay so so that you can take up a job job there okay uh sanjeev saying no pv singh as uh, sanjeev uh, pvc is not uh, the criteria to judge the bravery of any regiment you know p uh, but jat regiment has has <clears throat> have done exceptionally well exceptionally well uh, okay they have excelled almost in all the quarters okay so pvc is not a criteria to judge anything right uh, and uh, see you know pvc pvc uh, is awarded in the situation of war in the presence of enemy uh, exemplary bravery in presence of enemy so for for to attain pvc we need war but uh, generally we do not seek war okay we do not want war okay so yeah all right <laughs> okay <coughs> Okay, so uh, one Amit Shah, Nirmal Sitaraman, Narayan Rane, or Piyush Goel. The correct answer is Piyush Goel. So Piyush Goel was the person who was co-chaired who co-chaired the Union Ministry Global Skill Meeting. All right. So now we're saying twenty-two D. Super answer. Then Sanjeev saying yes, sir, I know. Acha acha acha. 
Info sharing, okay, superb, superb. Thank you, Sanjeev. Thank you. We love information sharing. Uh, if you guys have any information on any particular topic, kindly share in the comment section. A big thank you to Sanjeev for sharing some amazing information. Sanjeev saying, yeah, Jat Regiment, Jat Balwan, Jai Bhagwan. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, superb. So, four is correct. 22, 23. Let's see 23 now. Let's see 23 now. So, 23 question. What is the question is asking? The question is asking military training exercise between India and United States. We have a military training exercise between India and the US Army. Joint military training. It's called Yudh Abhyas. Yudh Abhyas. So, Yudh Abhyas is a military training between India and US. Okay. And recently concluded in Uttarakhand. So, you have to tell me it, it was which edition. It was, was it 16th, 16th time they were meeting or 20th edition or 22nd edition or 18th time they were meeting. Okay. And Yudh Abhyas is an annual exercise between India and US and it generally, mostly it happens in Uttarakhand only. And uh, why? Because, why? Because they want to get accustomed into this. They want to get accustomed in mountain war warfare. They get they want to get accustomed in mountain warfare. Okay. India is one country. <coughs> excuse me. India is one of few countries where we have, where we have mountains also extremely cold temperature, Dras, Batalik, Kargil, and then we have down south. You know beaches, amazing. You know a amazing time. Then we have uh, uh, to the east we have jungles, thick jungles, thick. Uh, Himalayan jungles and then to the west we have deserts. So we have all and the Indian security forces they have to adapt. I mean imagine someone uh, a person who works in India uh, has to uh, you know has to work in all the different sectors and what kind of experience you know they gain. You know Bear Grylls you know Bear Grylls man man versus wild Bear Grylls who doesn't know uh, uh, Bear Grylls. So Bear Grylls uh, when he completed his graduation he wanted to join the Indian army actually yes. Because he was he very was very fascinated with the mountains, so he wanted to join the Indian Army. So that's a very fact. That's a fact for you. Okay, okay. So everyone is saying everyone has put their answer. 18, 20, D. Yes, guys. The correct answer is option D. Option four, 18th. So it is the 18th time India and the U.S. Army uh, is a meeting, and the exercise is called Yudh Abhyas. It is always called that. That is the proper name. Whenever you see Yudh Abhyas anywhere, understand military exercise. India, US, always. And mostly it is in Uttarakhand because they want to get it. Uh, this is basically for mountain warfare. All right, all set, all good. Chalo. 23 is done. We'll see 24 now. According to Knight Frank Data Center, according to Knight Frank Data Center report, quarter 3, 2022, released in November 2022, which of the following Indian cities is among the largest data center markets in Asia Pacific APAC region? So, Knight's Knight Day Frank Data Center report quarter three. Which Indian cities are among the largest data center markets in the, in the world? And I've told you that data is the new oil. Everyone is going behind data. Every country wants data. Every company wants data. If you have data about someone, you know about everything about that person. What they like to have in lunch, in dinner, what they generally eat, whether they're non-vegetarian or vegetarian, what kind of you know, brands they like in shoes, what, they, what kind of uh, clothes they like, what kind of political, religious uh, opinion uh, they have. Okay. So, you can, you can actually profile anyone. You can profile anyone. That this person will do this. And if you have enough data about someone, you can tell this person will do this in this situation. This, this is how a person will react in this situation. So, data is everything. So, everyone wants data. And that is why India also setting data centers. A major data center is set up in uh, uh, Greater Noida recently. Okay. So, uh, data is big. Data is big. And data combined with 5G. So, we are also going very strong in 5G. Okay. So, data combined with 5G and also cloud computing. So guys, the next 5, 7, 10 years are going to be amazing. It's, it's, it's everything going to be uh, uh, virtual. Everything is going to be digital. Physical life is going to diminish. If you are strong online, if you are strong, uh, you know, uh, uh, digital wise, you know, it's going to have smooth sailing. All right. So correct answer is New Delhi, Chennai, Hyderabad, all 1, 3, 1, 2, 3. So who doesn't want to go to IMA? Uh, Yes, I am a Dehradun. 
military academy okay so we have sanjeev saying 4 we have uh, sonam saying 24 c i think okay c that means hyderabad then we have divya saying 24 4 chinmoy saying triple 1 okay so guys the correct answer is option a option b option c that means all of the following are correct yes so all are correct 1 2 3 all are correct okay um Yes, Sanjeev saying metaverse pay. Yes, metaverse. Meta meta is going to metaverse is going to take some time uh, because uh, both ways, I, um, uh, software wise, it's still not that great. It's still lagging. So there is going there is some work going on software wise and also hardware wise. Uh, it has to be readily uh, the hardware has to be made. Should has to go with you know, people's acceptance and should be cheap. Initially, it's going to be very uh, expensive. So it has to be cheap. So it's gonna be some. It's gonna take some time for people to accept, and also this is not available everywhere. Also, all right. Okay, twenty-four is done. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Name the small finance bank that was recently awarded with the best in class for environment, social, and governance rating ESG from Care Edge Ratings. So tell me the name of the bank that was that recently received this rating. Okay. Okay. So Sonam saying, oh yeah, all. Yes, all is correct. So there's a small trick, guys. There's a small trick, but it is it doesn't work all the time, but 90% works. 90 to 95% works. Whenever you see all, <laughs> whenever you see all of the following in the option, it's mostly correct. Not every time, but if you if you have to take a guess. And you have no other option, but you really want to take a guess. Best option would be all of these. Yes. So it's a it's a current affairs hack. It's a current affairs hack 101. And you're welcome. All right. Chalo, we'll see the next one. Answer kya hoga? Everyday class time. Everyday class time is 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Guys, everyday class time is 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And uh, why do I see so much less likes? You have to like the button. Like like button is actually your attendance button. So when you like your button, like when you when you give, when you press the like button, your attendance is marked. Okay, it's marked. So uh, show us your love, show us your appreciation. Okay, if you're liking the session, if you're loving the session, if you're uh, getting something new to learn. Okay, it's very interactive session. If you're having fun learning current affairs, a difficult thing to tame. Okay, so. Uh, uh, drop in a like button, uh, drop in a like and press the like button, okay, okay, and also share the session, okay, share it, subscribe to the channel, and one more thing, we have a telegram app, also join the telegram app, and uh, all the amazing content, all the class PDF with ink annotations will be provided to you after class, so you'll get PDF, you'll also get some questions, so it's more interactive platform there as well, so this is one way to interact, meet, Telegram is also another channel where we can meet and we can have some interesting uh, conversations and I can help you out with all faculties and everyone is on uh, Telegram. So we can, uh, we can all help you out. The full example family is with you. Do not worry in any case. Okay. Yeah, I think it will be answered if I A. So coming to the question, guys. Uh, is it Utkash, Equitas, Capital or ESAF? The correct answer is ESAF. It's a Kerala-based bank and it's a small bank but uh, going very strong, getting some amazing awards on the run so in, in, a, in a few years time it's going to you know go big okay okay so 25 is done let's see 26 now who has been recently <coughs> appointed as the <coughs> excuse me full-time member of niti ayog so full-time member of niti ayog who has been appointed as a full-time member of niti ayog now okay so niti ayog we have uh excuse me national institution of transforming india it's a policy think tank it's a policy think tank uh, earlier in this place we had planning commission for example you you want to achieve anything in life so you always plan right you have you always plan so if india wants to achieve something you know india has so many problems we have cleanliness we have illiteracy we have development we have infrastructure we have a lot of different different issues right so uh, Niti Ayog makes the policies okay for women education or girls education this way we have to go uh, women empowerment this are the policy or for uh, let's just say for uh, healthcare cleanliness this is the policy for swachhata this is the policy so it's a, it's a policy think tank so policies are very important because once policies are made then we can walk on those policies so which of the following is the member okay Chinmay is saying uh, A 
Sonam is saying two two zero one five change. Yes, yes, yes. Two zero one five after uh, the uh, first uh, tenure of the Modi government. First tenure of the Modi government. Uh, the planning commission was discarded partly because planning commission the the answers the the. Uh, what was said that planning commission was uh, not that robust. We needed more robust institution. So Niti Aayog was uh, introduced, and some people say that planning commission was formed by. Uh, it was formed, I guess, in nine fifties. Uh, it was formed by um, Congress government. It was formed by Congress government. So that is why BJP doesn't want Congress uh, institutions. So they are they were discarding it. So this they discarded it. So correct answer to the question is option A, B, C, D. Option B, option two, Arvind Virmani. Okay, Arvind Virmani. I know names are pretty difficult to tame because you have to remember names and not just Indian names. We have sports people, we have award winner of foreign descent, so we have you know different names. So that is one problem I know, but you have to read once, twice, thrice to get the names you know in order. Okay, 26 is done. Let's see the next number, number 27 now. So before we uh, see the num number 27, so let's be, let me talk about example official app. So example official app, we all know that I've just explained uh, a, 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 a few minutes ago that uh, everything is available on the app. You know, we have live session from live session to quiz to PDF to everything is available on the app. Okay, so <clears throat> download the app and one important thing I can tell you, a lot of it is free on it. A lot of the content is free on it. So uh, just just download and just take a look at the app. Okay, there's a lot of content, current affairs wise, question wise, PDF wise. It's a very solid app. All right. Okay, so let's see the next one. 27 now. 27 now. All right, so hmm, okay guys. So if you are new to the session, if you are if you are watching the session and uh, not answering, not cool, not cool, answer, participate in the session and also drop in a like, press the like button. Alright, so next one is 27. Who was recently in November 22 conferred with Chevalier de la Legion d'Honneur? That means Knight of the National Order of French Legion of Honor. So it's a French award. It was. It is a French award. Okay, Knight of the National Order of the French Legion of Honor. That is uh, Cavalier de la Legion d'Honneur. So this award, this award was established by Napoleon Bonaparte himself. This award this is a very old award. A very old award. So this award was instituted by, established by Napoleon Bonaparte himself so it's a very uh, important award so which of the following indian personalities received this award uh, so french ambassador to india gave this award to this gentleman and the person is a entrepreneur okay is also india french business um, ch chambers uh, president okay so who, who, who among the following is the right one sumit anand uh, johan samuel ashish shukla or payal s kamar so which of the following is correct what do you think is the right answer A, B, C, D. Okay, so I am getting some comments now. 27, 27. So Sonam is saying B. Sonam is very sure. Sonam has written two Bs. 27, B, B. So Johan, Samuel, so Sonam is pretty sure. Let's see what about uh, Akhileshwar? What about uh, Sanjeev? What do you think is the correct answer? Chinmoy, what is the correct answer, brother? And uh, Divya and Sai and everyone else. So, okay, so what is the, what is the right answer? Batao, batao. Let, let me, let me know the answer. Okay, so, uh, Tonam has only uh, punched in her answer. What about others? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, chalo. So, uh, the correct answer is option 1, Sumit Anand. The correct answer is Sumit Anand, option 1 for the award of France. Okay, award of France. Okay, let's see 28 now. Let's see 28 now. So, 28 question uh, is, <coughs> excuse me. When was the United uh, Nations UN's International Day of Tolerance uh, is observed? International Day of Tolerance is observed across the globe when UN 
international day of tolerance now international day of tolerance tolerance in what regard in in what regard so tolerance in the regard that uh, generally people are not tolerant towards people of other faith people of other descent people of other race people of other community okay so uh, and anyone the person who is different from them they are not very tolerant uh, not not everyone some people are very tolerant but some people somewhere are not that tolerant okay so international day of tolerance is supposed to be observed that they, yes we are different in lot of ways but actually we are one we all are humans okay we might follow different religion we might follow from we, have, we might be from different communities we might be from different background different descent different different skin colors but we are actually one we all are humans all right so we are from one species okay that is the homo sapiens okay so uh, sonam is saying 27b chinmoy b and sonam again 27b so yes 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 you guys are absolutely correct no doubt about it 16th november 16th november uh, tolerance day 16th november tolerance day mp singh is also correct 16th november very nice you know uh, these dates are pretty pretty <coughs> you might they might seem very very simple very very sweet very very easy to remember but that is not the case uh, in examination uh, you know you might you might get confused whether it was 16 or 19 or whether it was november or december october so you might you might you know uh, get into that uh, problem so uh, such kind of problems can only be uh, sorted or addressed with a regular revision okay revision nothing else revision 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 16 november tolerance day or try to make you know try to make some mnemonics or try to associate okay try to uh, try to associate something or the in some way or the other okay make it anything make it anything tolerance and 16 november if you can join in your, and doesn't have to be doesn't have to make any sense it has to only make sense to you okay could be very funny also could be very logical also could be any way anything okay but it should be very specific to you you should remember it okay and if you make a funny one no if you make funny anything funny one so that would that is tend to be remembered for a longer duration okay so next one is 29 uh in which state the tech eagle okay this is done this yes, this is done so we already uh, yeah we already did this one okay uh, okay chalo this is done okay so what is the answer just let's just have a quick revision for this one quick revision for this one quick revision for this one i think this was already discussed yes we discussed but i want i want anyone any one of you to answer once we were just it's just a quick revision nothing else so six okay so anyone i think i think would uh, give the answer yes correct so uh and sonam gave the answer yes sonam yes we have we have just did this one arunachal pradesh so it's it, it is it is just a revision it's a repeat question no worries revision ho gaya hamara okay next one sanjeev also yes sanjeev also gave the answer yes chalo 30th question uh, which airport has recently uh, received aerodrome license aerodrome license from the directorate general of civil aviation or dgca from the director general of civil aviation dgca so recently which of the following got the aerodrome island uh, license aerodrome license means uh, they can operate fully as uh, they are following the lay, the laid down principles of <coughs> of of a proper um, uh, air, airline conducting business how an airport should conduct airlines okay a proper guidelines are followed whether they are following if they are following it then they get this license okay they are maintaining everything which is to be maintained okay so aerodrome license recently recently received by airport and just to tell you uh, directorate of civil aviation director of civil aviation dgca is the department is the department that oversees is the body is the organization that oversees airports or airline industry in india okay airports and airline industry in india and uh, dgca comes in under uh, ministry of civil aviation ministry of civil aviation is the is the nodal ministry nodal authority and above, so it's like government of india government of india then inside government of india we have ministry of uh, civil aviation that is a part of the government of india and that is a big mother 
okay the big chap and then we have uh, dgca so dgca which penalizes uh, fines or rewards or give license you know everything all the operations of airports and airline business maintained by dgca so dgca is the authority all right when we say when we say we have uh, authority for banks we say rbi uh, insurance the industry in india is regulated by irda or stock market sebi similarly aviation market dgca okay so that is how it is so okay so we have 30d jaipur <coughs> so mp singh reading writing uh, 30d very nice sonam writing th jaipur 30d very nice correct then we have sanjeev writing jaipur so all of you are absolutely correct we uh, jaipur is the correct answer to the question asked so jaipur international airport recently received aerodrome license from dgca all right so 30 is done let's see the next one Okay, so 31 is the government has recently amended the Aadhaar regulations. Okay, so government has recently changed or regulated or amended or amended the Aadhaar regulations or Aadhaar uh, rules and regulations uh, to state that supporting documentations which we which were uh, given to the Aadhaar authority to receive uh, the uh, Aadhaar must be updated at least once. In how many years by the Aadhaar holder? So if you are a person who has Aadhaar, okay, so you have to upload your document or you have to give a new supporting document once in how many years so that your Aadhaar card remains valid, okay. So is it once in six years or is it once in four years or is it? Uh, once in five years or is it once in ten years? So in how many years you have to once give your uh, support your support documents? So uh, Sonam is saying ten years. So we are Awan Awan Tariq joining. Hello uh, Awan, welcome welcome. Uh, very warm welcome brother. Good morning. So no worries. Okay. So uh, yeah Awan, what is the answer? Aadhaar regulation once in how many years? So I would request. Uh, I would request Sanjeev also to answer. I would request uh, Chinmoy to answer as well. Avan to answer as well. I received Sonam answers. Sonam's answer has been received. Sonam is saying 10 years. So Sonam, that is a very good answer. That's a very good answer. That's a very good answer. So let's see if uh, Sonam is correct or uh, how many of you are correct. So come on guys, take a guess. Take a guess. I would I would want others' answers as well. I would, I would like to see others' answers as well. Uh, so received Sonam answers. Yes, so we have an answer from MP Singh, 31, uh, 10 years, correct. So, once in every 10 years. So, once in every 10 years, you have to update your documentation so as to relate to, so, so that your Aadhaar remains uh, proper, okay. See, current affairs is very important, you know, also what is going around in India, around in world, you know, you get uh, latest information. Okay, 32. <coughs> In November 2022, DigiLocker successfully completed its second level of integration with Ayushman Bharat Digital Scheme. Okay, so digital DigiLocker, if you have heard of it, this question is this question will become uh, easy for you. DigiLocker, DigiLocker is the authentic documentation exchange platform under which ministry? Okay, under which ministry? So. <coughs> So Avan is giving giving us a fact that Ranjana Sonavani uh, was the first person to receive uh, Aadhaar card. Uh, uh, Avan, very very deep information, yeah, very very good information. Thank you so much for this information. Okay, so we have Sanjeev saying option C. Okay, so DigiLocker, DigiLocker is is a platform, is a is a digital platform by government of India, by government of India. Uh, which, which is uh, it, it's a document exchange platform so you can also store your documents there uh, on the cloud of uh, on all the government site and uh, you can retrieve your documentation so whenever let's just say if traffic policeman asks you for your license you don't have to produce a physical you can show them in the this thing in your digital locker okay so is it a ministry of science and technology uh, is it a ministry of health and family uh, is it Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology or is it Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship? Which is the correct one? 
तो आवान सिंह सी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड वी हैव थर्टी टू फॉर सी ओके सो सोनम इज ऑल्सो सेंग सी संजीव ऑल्सो सेट सी ओके सोनम इज सेंग इट इज फॉर इन्फॉर्मेशन स्टोरी येस यू कैन स्टोरी डॉक्यूमेंट्स यू कैन स्टोरी योर इन्फॉर्मेशन येस बट ट्राई टू हैव योर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन विद यू एंड इफ यू सी इट इज सेंसिटिव लाइक टेन सर्टिफिकेट ट्वेल्व सर्टिफिकेट सो यू कैन ऑलवेज कीप अ बैकअप कॉपी देर ओके यू कैन कीप इट विद द गवर्नमेंट और यू कैन कीप योर ऑन ऑन गूगल ड्राइव ओके ऑन आई क्लाउड सो देर लॉट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन गूगल गिव्स अराउंड नाउ इट हैज बीन चेंज अली इट वॉज फिफ्टीन जी बी विद योर ई मेल आई डी नाउ इट इज वन टी बी सो वन टेराबाइट ऑफ डेटा स्टोरेज इज अवेलेबल टू यू इफ यू हैव अ जी मेल अकाउंट ओके इट्स वेरी ईजी ओके and also uh, other applications are there you can store it <coughs> so the correct answer uh, to the question is option 3 option c or option 3 all of you are absolutely correct for this question so option 3 is correct all right so this is done this is done 32 is done let's see 33 now let's see 33 now so big big questions are coming up big questions are nice because they have lot of information with us also so according to the indian banks association iba Report ease reforms index for the first first quarter of FY23 released in November 2022 as adjusted by Best Bank in adopting reforms. So the basic question starts from here, which has been considered the best bank in adopting reforms prescribed for public sector banks. So we have some reforms for public sector banks, and which of the following bank is regarded uh, the best bank because it has. Adopted all the reforms for a public sector bank is supposed to do. Okay, so uh, so is it A P N B or uh, B E or number two U B I or number three S B I or number four B O B? So what is the correct answer? Best bank, best bank in what department? In adopting reforms, in adopting reforms prescribed for. public sector bank so a public sector bank is supposed to adopt this reform so these reforms were introduced and adopted by this particular bank so it became the best bank okay so sonam is saying i think sbi uh, is uh, sonam is a very good guess because sbi is the biggest bank of india and you know uh, it it if it is the biggest bank it should also be at the front runner of thing in the front of many things should be the front runner of many things adoption and and a lot of reforms sanjeev is saying sbi okay so uh, guys think avan is saying sbi so sbi sbi has a lot of fan following in the comment section now so okay so uh, the correct answer guys correct answer is so correct answer is option option number 3 option number 3 sbi that is option c sbi is correct so the answer is the complete information is sbi is the bank that has been adjudged the best bank the best bank in adopting reforms for public sector banks clear all right so next one next let's see next one 34 okay <coughs> excuse me okay so very very nice question okay who was recently awarded who was recently awarded the united kingdoms uk's royal order of merit uh, united kingdoms uk's royal order of merit by britain's king charles 3 by britain's king charles 3 so our award was an award was awarded royal order of merit royal order of merit this award was awarded uh, by britain's king charles 3 to who of the following to who of the following a amartya sen b kailash satyarthi c venkat raman ramakrishnan or four abhijit banerji so what is the correct one and uh, we all know that uh, indians are uh, you know they are ruling the world now so we have the british prime minister as the indian prime minister so uh, british prime minister sorry the uh, an indian person as the british prime minister now and uh, so rishi sunak is the indian person uh, the person of the indian origin and uh, so which of the following is the correct one so a uh, royal order of merit by britain's king charles so we have answers coming in yes uh, sanjeev is saying option 3 venkat raman raman krishnan then we have uh, okay others i would expect i would i would request others to answer as well what about what about sonam what about sonam and awan has awan has given some information thank you awan for the information sbi 
old name is Imperial Bank of India. Uh, thank you, thank you, Avan, for this amazing information. So, such amazing informations are also provided in the comment section so we can have a much better approach. Okay, so Sonam is saying, I think, see, so guys, you guys are absolutely correct. The correct answer to the question is option three. Venkat Raman Ramakrishnan. Venkat Raman Ramakrishnan. Option 3 is correct for the person who received UK Order of Merit by Britain's King Charles III. Alright. Let's see the next one. 34 is done. Let's see third number 35. 35. Let's see third 35 question. So the question number 35 is which of the following organizations or personalities has been recently awarded the international press? Institute, <coughs> excuse me, of India Award for Excellence in Journalism 2022. So, which of the following has received the award? And uh, the the thing is, this award, this award is given for excellence in journalism. So, you have to. This question is made up, is made uh, in the focus. The person, the recipients are kept in focus. The recipients are kept in focus, but in the exam the award can also be given focus okay so uh, let's just say the answer is a and b so a and b a and b received a and b received uh, so and so award uh, so which of the following uh, award was given to them right so in international press institute of excellence german so either person can be in focus or the question uh, the award can be in focus okay so shramanna yes shramanna has joined shramanna uh, very welcome to the uh, to the class uh, good morning and you are a little late but uh, no worries. So uh, you haven't marked your attendance, Ramanna. Press the like button. Like button is your attendance. Okay, it's, 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 it's for marking your attendance. Okay. So uh, Sonam saying 35, and uh, Ramanna saying 35, and Sanjeev saying both one and two. So uh, 35 uh, print. Ramanna saying 35 print, and Sonam saying D. So guys, option A is correct. Also option two is correct. That means option four is correct. So it is given to the organization print and also to the NDTV reporter Saurav Shukla in for individual efforts. Okay. And Avan, Avan, thank you for pointing out chemistry Nobel Prize also. In the previous question, just to let you know that this person, Venkat Raman Krishna Ramakrishnan, has received Nobel Prize and also received Nobel Prize. Okay. So this person also received Nobel Prize uh, for, for his discovery of in, in the field of ribosomes. Okay. Okay, so 35 is done. 36, let's see 36 now. Let's see 36 now. So, let's see the last question for the day. So, this is the last question for the day. Okay, so let's see 36 now. What the 36 has to tell you? Uh, the question asking in November 2022, Natasha Pirk Musar. Natasha Pirk Musar became first female president of which country? So, Natasha Pirk Musar. Female president of which first female president? So this is important. When you have someone first female, okay, that question becomes extra special. This person is the new PM of this country. This is good, but this person is the first uh, person of uh, this descent or this you know, or, or origin or a female president or person of this skin color. Okay, if first of any kind is there, then it becomes extra extra special question. Okay, so first female. Moldova, Estonia, uh, Czechia or Czech Republic or Slovenia. So I, I would request uh, everyone to answer in the comment section. What is the correct answer? So uh, I can see the comments. So what is the what is the answer? So what you guys are writing? So what uh, Moldova, Estonia, Czechia or Slovenia? So uh, in the comment section, I want to see the answer. Yes. So what are you writing? Uh, Sanjeev saying one. Okay. So Avan saying D. Yes. Avan Tariq. Um, uh, um, kya hai aap? Okay, Avan saying D. Acha, acha, Avan. <laughs> thank you, brother. Thank you. Okay, 36. Uh, 36 ka B. Okay, so uh, Sonam saying 36 B. Avan saying D. Okay. And uh, what about Sanjeev? So this is the uh, Sanjeev saying uh, Sanjeev for previous one. So guys, this is the last question of the day. So I want everyone to answer. I want Shriman, Shramana to answer. I want Shinmoy to answer. I want Sanjeev. I want Sonam. I want uh, Avan. I want uh, every single one of you to answer. And even if you are watching the session, so I want you to answer. And if you're not, uh, if you're not answered before, so this is the time to rise and shine. Okay. Okay, guys. 
So the correct answer to the question is option four, Slovenia. Option four, Slovenia. So Slovenia, Natasha Pirk Musar became the first female president of Slovenia. Okay, guys. So with this question, we have come to the end of the session. Uh, thank you guys for joining in today. And you will get this PDF in the uh, Telegram group. And the link to the Telegram group is also is already mentioned in the in the previous day, yesterday's uh, current uh, affairs session in the comment section. You can go and find the link and uh, come to the Telegram group. A lot of PDFs will be shared with you. A lot of questions will be done. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed. Every single one you have enjoyed and had some good fun, uh, good learning also. All right. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. current affairs session. All right, with me, Milan, signing off. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Keep studying hard, keep revising. Cheers, guys. Take care.